Thank you. Thank you so much, Luis. Uh, <coughs> um, so we we have a, a little bit of a lag, a few seconds of a lag with YouTube and the other platform where we are transmitting. So if there are any questions, they might come in uh, in a little bit. <coughs> in, in the meantime, I can start with, uh, with a short question. Um, yes. Especially uh, the, the last things that that you were mentioning over the the the, the, the recent developments. Yeah. Um, do you think there's a risk of neurosymbolic AI? The term neurosymbolic AI, be, like losing its meaning, because there are so many different ways in which you can do it. And mm -hmm. do, do you see that as any kind of risk, or is it just the the, the traditional uh, risk that we that we have in science in general when when things become very popular? Yeah. First, no. First, I want to apologize. In the beginning of the talk, I was a bit confused because of the. The hack. Yes, yeah, sorry. We yeah, apologize. Yeah. We had yeah, the yeah, settings. Yeah. Okay. We had the settings so, very weak. So, so. Uh, no, no, it's okay. So, um, uh, it, that's a very interesting question. When something becomes like uh, a popular field of research, people try and frame, say, uh, like everything is uh, like these days. We have everything is deep learning. Everything is machine learning. Everyone is machine learning and so on. But the approach that we promoted here is an approach that combines. Uh, logical reasoning from principles with artificial neural networks, okay? Of course, you can say, well, everything is neuro-symbolic because I'm using symbols to develop the programs in computer science, or I'm using reasoning in this and, and other ways or in certain ways. But yeah, there is a risk that, uh, the, 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 let's say, that the, the term or the terminology will be overloaded, but... Um, what the community that works in neurosymbolic AI tries to do is to develop a principal way of combining reasoning and learning. And uh, by principal way, we mean, well, okay, let's use techniques that have been developed in logic over many decades. Let's use techniques that have been developed, for instance, in argumentation, in temporal reasoning, to combine those techniques with machine learning systems. So yeah, there is a risk that, the, 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 let's say, the field becomes, let's say, uh, 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 let's say, carried out or go into another direction. But the approach that the researchers in this field uh, are taking at the moment is to follow uh, a more principal approach by bringing techniques from computational logic, techniques from knowledge representation and reasoning, techniques from probabilistic AI, and so on. 